What is going on guys? So bringing a little update here. Um, I got all the radiators together. This is for 300, 300, there I go. Three 480 millimeter radiators. They're all from Alpha Cool and they are all pure copper. Um, of course the soft tubing running in this direction and that is of course the out from the pump goes into the block, flows through the block, and then pushes it up through the rads, going in like this type of a flow, all the way back. Then I have a fitting with a, uh, a drain on the top here, and this is so I can loosen this and let air in whenever I go to drain the loop from down here. That way it has an air spot for air to enter the uh, loop, or the, uh, yeah, the system. And then it comes from here back into the pump, and goes in there and then gets routed back through. The reservoir isn't all the way full now because I'm going to be draining this um, like within the next few days again because uh, I decided to get a new block. This is my um, fan cooled RAM setup I have going right now because this stuff is uh, what you call it G Skills uh, Trident Z Neo uh, 3800 megahertz CL14 ram kit so it's like it gets kind of toasty um and uh yeah i have the little fan on it blowing at like i don't know 4,000 rpm those little small fans usually spin pretty fast and i can tell you that this one does would not want to stick my finger in that with how fast how many rpms it's spinning at right now um, um so the block i actually got a new block because this um fits power touch aqua block is causing me problems with this gigabyte board because this is a uh, gigabyte Z490 Aurora's Ultra board. It's um, it's very small and it's an ITX board and that's why it's kind of causing some mounting issues with the block there. So I ordered a pure copper heat killer block um, from PPCS uh, and I'll have links to that stuff in the description if you want to take a look at the new block I ordered. Um, it's the heat killer 4. It's actually one of the uh, like best CPU blocks you can get. Heat killer makes really great products from what I've been told. And the one I got is all pure copper. There's no other metals, which is exactly what I want because I have pure copper uh, rads, radiators. Um, everything in here is copper and nickel. The fittings are like nickel plated. Um, and yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think the pump is like, I don't know what the pump is made out of uh, as far as the interior goes. I'm, I'm not sure on that. I can't speak on it, but I know the rads are copper and my CPU block will soon be solid copper. It doesn't have RGB, the heat killer block I ordered, but I'm not necessarily disappointed in that. I'm kind of getting tired of all the RGB stuff. I just want things to be simple and I want them to work. I don't, like if it has RGB or not, it's more of a, you know, it's it's not a need, it's a want. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's something that if it has it, cool, but if it doesn't, I'm okay with that. And that's kind of how it is with heat killer. If, if the block performs great, then I'm okay with it not having RGB. Um, Matter of fact, like I was saying, I'm kind of tired of RGB. We've been doing RGB for the past four or five years now, and it's it's time to start going back to what it was before, which is base things, you know, just base. Nothing, no crazy lighting like we have in, in these modern times, because I can tell you back in 2015, when I started building PCs, there was not all this crazy RGB. I can tell you that. It was simple. There was basic blue or red lights or white lights. So there was no crazy rainbow unicorn going on, okay? Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Little update video. Uh, I got the rad situated. I'm not going past three 480s because like this is already overkill for what I'm running. Um, I'll be adding that heat killer pure copper, heat killer four pure copper um, block to this and I'll be probably either selling the bits power or keeping it as a spare. I'm not sure yet. I don't really need two blocks. I'm only running one system so I'll probably sell it because um, it still works great. It's just heat killer is better. Um, and the 3080 here, this FE card, is actually going to be getting um, water blocked. I have a Corsair Hydro X series or whatever water block coming for it. And as far as GPU blocks goes, it doesn't really matter what brand you buy. As long as you get one that covers the VRM's memory and the actual core, you're pretty much going to be good. You can't really go wrong with GPU blocks. I mean, unless you buy some kind of like Chinesium $10 block off eBay or something, like that might be a little questionable. But, you know, as long as it's a solid brand and it's a GPU block, then, yeah, you're probably going to be fine. CPU blocks are different. That, like, actually matters. But GPU blocks are kind of like what and what. Um, 
So yeah, that'll be getting water cooled and add to the, added to the loop because trust me with all of this rad space, a 3080 and a 10700K is not gonna throw anywhere near the heat capacity of this, of these, uh, of this rad setup. Um, I'm redoing my water cooling stuff. I had all the stuff in this huge box, but I don't need this ginormous box for all of it. So I got this new egg box here and um, I put everything in there. I purchased myself a $20 heat gun on, not heat gun, not heat gun. That This is not a heat gun. This is a IR uh, temperature, here we go. IR infrared thermometer. That's what this is. That's the proper terminology. Okay, yeah, so the fittings I have are the um, bits power, not bits power, sorry, excess PS or, or whatever fitting. You can get these guys on um, Amazon for like uh, four of them for like 30 bucks or something like that. So they're super cheap and they work their compression fittings and they work great with soft tubing. Um, and these are in a 7 16 by 5 8 diameter for the tubing and these fittings are also 7 16 by 5 8. Um, yeah. Some other things I invested in is I used distilled water for my water cooling loop and um, I got some uh, Mayhem's uh, Biocide which is going to kill any kind of algae or like life that would try and grow in the distilled water and I also picked up some uh, Mayhem's inhibitor. However, I don't really use the inhibitor because I don't have mixed metals in my loop. I'm just kind of more or less worried about the uh, Biocide. Um, I could use the inhibitor, but I feel like this would be more lean towards someone who has like copper and aluminum and nickel and like all these other like crazy metals all mixed together. I feel like that's when you really need an inhibitor versus having a loop that has nothing but copper in it, really, for the most part, and maybe some nickel, but yeah. So no need for me to use the inhibitor, just if you have mixed metals, you definitely want to use the inhibitor. Um, I also have the EK cryofuel up there, but... Um, I kind of purchased those when I was making the decision to use distilled water or not, and distilled water works great. I don't see any reason to use anything but distilled water, so um, I don't know if I'll ever use those EK cryofuel bottles, but yeah, they're probably just going to sit there. Maybe someone I know will buy them from me or something, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, the tubing I use is um, Primo Chills Primo Flex Advanced LRT tubing. Um, I think I said it in one of my previous videos, but do not use this utopia and system prep that stuff's garbage buy the mayhem stuff i just showed you that's way better stuff and if you want dyes same thing if you're using those things go with the mayhem's dyes like you know i said in my previous video as well mayhem's dyes these are the nine st non-staining ones and yeah i don't again i don't know if there's any difference between non-staining and staining but i, I went with the non-staining option and i went with all the colors of standard food coloring that you would get with food coloring so yellow green blue and red that way I can mix these to make whatever other colors I want to make. I did have them running in the loop. As you can see, it's back to clear. Regular, just plain distilled water now. And I can tell you that nothing stains. None of the tubing stained. The reservoir didn't stain at all. It's all like nothing even happened. So maybe it is true non-staining because I can't see a trace of the purple anymore. I did have to flush it three times though to get all the dye out. But yeah, yeah, so. Um... But yeah, so next video will probably be me um, actually showing when I get the other two fans because I ran out of fans for this. I ordered another five pack of P12s, Arctic P12s, and I'm waiting for those to come in so I can add the final two there. And then it will be a full total um, 12 fans on these three 480 rads. And yeah, I'll do that. I'll add the heat killer block and then I'll add the uh, Corsair Hydrex series block for the 3080. And that'll be uh, the next update video. And I'll probably do a video um, when I get to take the 3080 apart and um, put the block on it. But I'm not going to know what I'm doing. So heads up, it's probably not going to be the best video in the world. But you guys might, you know, think it's funny me struggling my mind away trying to figure out how to take this thing apart. But thankfully there's resources out there on how to do that. But yeah. So until next video, peace out.